Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are finally going into Corona Mountain here. But guess what we're going to be doing first? The blue coins. Yeah, I might as well get them done and over with. So let's enter into Corona Mountain. Anyway, switch to the hover nozzle and just hover over these spike things until they disappear and you'll be able to progress easily. And any of these fire ones you can just simply extinguish by hovering over as well. I don't know why so many people have problems with Corona Mountain. This is like one of the easiest areas in the game to navigate, seriously. So, I, I just never understood that. Anyway, there's a first blue coin right in plain sight. There's only ten blue coins in this area. The first one is here, the other nine are floating above the lava. You're gonna have to use a raft to navigate it. I'll show you how to do that properly as I go, because we're gonna be doing some really, really precise canoeing here. And just go, when you're ever going from platform to platform, just go fire spikes, fire spikes in that pattern, and you shouldn't have any trouble um, getting from one to the other. And the only water that you can find in this area are in coming from some sort of springs. You would think that water would be boiling hot, you know, splashing on top of you, but that's not the case, thank goodness. Anyway, now we're inside this canoe, and it's time to get this thing going. Now, the way that you want to direct this is wherever the canoe is pointed at, that's where it's going to be going when you propel it from the back, and that's how you navigate this place easily. So, just do that, and don't touch any of the walls. If you touch anything, and I mean anything, you're going down, and the thing will sink instantly. Carefully, carefully. There we go. Looking very good now. Now, the rest of the blue coins, right here in this area, this circular area around the central platform. So, we gotta get them very carefully. Wish me luck here. So, no, 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 no. Don't go that far. Uh, said don't go that far. Back up a little bit. Thank you. Stop moving. This is how you get the coins. You just have to be really careful about them. And you shouldn't have any trouble getting all nine of the coins. As long as you know how to use this raft to navigate. Just go near the tip whenever you want to change its direction. And then go back to the back of the raft whenever you want to propel it. There's another one there. Um, I'm going to get this one first. <laughs> so there we go. What I'm going to attempt to do is go around this rock here and like turn it carefully. Turn it carefully, I said. There we go. I mean, I'm just being like really quiet here because I, I want to be so careful with this. See, it's not that hard to use this raft to navigate. You've just got to be really patient. By the way, I love this area a lot. The music is very nice. The atmosphere is very nice. It's, it's like the climactic ending of the game, so to speak. And there's your third blue point above the lava here. And now I'm just going to escape through this small opening here like so. And turn the raft around. Now you'll notice that it's got a little bit of momentum to it. That's one of the reasons why people have trouble navigating the raft. But you just have to play with the momentum a little bit. Like, you have to predict where it's going to be by, like, doing it a little bit under under what you think it should be. Like, um, don't go that far, man. Don't go that far. Well, it looks like I reversed the direction of the raft. Anyway, I can, I, can, I can still use it like this. I just have to do it the same way. I don't have, like, the tippy tip of the raft to guide myself like I did before. So, but it, it can be used the exact same way. There we go. Well, I still got kind of an arrow, and I'm having... Maybe I should attempt to turn this raft around. <laughs> uh, wait, this might work. There we go. Awesome sauce. And let's go over to the next coin, which is up there. I can see. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost touched the edge. Almost touched the edge. Don't touch the sides, people. This is like operation. Uh-oh. This is really, really tight. Wait, I, I have a chance to turn the raft around here. So that's what I'm going to do. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to turn it like that. 
that and whoa, 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 too fast, too fast, bad angle too. Carefully, carefully. No, 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 no. Abandoned ship! No! No! Well, looks like I'm gonna have to try this stage again. If your ship ever goes down, uh, just jump for the next coin just to make sure that you can get it, or at least try to make sure that you can get it. And then you'll just be popped right back to the beginning of Corona Mountain to try it again. So I'll see you by the next three coins. What was I thinking there? I changed nozzles before I touched... Ugh, whatever. Okay, this time I decided to go around counterclockwise from that center area. Whoa, 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 going really fast. Wait, wait, this might work out fine. There we go. Two more blue coins left in Corona Mountain. Yep, as I said, there's only ten, so you don't really have to worry about staying here too long for blue coins, which I like a lot. <laughs> in fact, I'm doing this on the very same day that I did the uh, Pianta Village blue coins, which is very strange for me because normally I don't even bother doing that because of the fact of how annoying the blue coins are in general, so can I touch it? Yeah! Awesome! Now there's just one left. I think it's at the back side of this place. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, so I need to turn myself around. No, not that way. <laughs> I was in the wrong direction. Okay, what is your momentum? Okay, I'll spray forward. Very good, Mario. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't aim for the pillar. <laughs> and carefully. Carefully. There we go! Last blue coin! You filthy tanukis! You give Mario's tanuki suit a bad name for keeping all those shine sprites to yourselves! Time to do Corona Mountain for realsies and go to the final boss. Why would I do the final boss before I've collected all the shine sprites? Well, because I kind of found out later on that you have to do the final boss before you can access an area again that you need to access. Holy cow, I shouldn't have done that, but I did. But everything's okay, because that one-up one gives me all my life back. <laughs> as, as you see, those spikes take away three hits at a time. I believe the fire does as well. So, basically, if you land on it when they're at full blast, you are going to survive it. <laughs> So make sure that you extinguish the fire with your hover nozzle and make sure you do before you land on top of it. And use the rest area to make sure that you can jump onto the spikes and jump and hover onto the spikes, excuse me, and get to the platform safely. Now, for this right here. Well, get this one up over here first. That way you'll always come out one life ahead, even if you die in this area, because that first part isn't hard at all. Anyway, now you've got the rafting part here again. Well, not again, unless you were, weren't paying attention to the coin part that I just did in this part, or you're only watching one shine at a time from my menu system thing. Anyway, just navigate your way around here using the raft. Uh, wherever the raft is pointing, that's where it's going to go. If it's got a little bit of side momentum, like it's turning, it will continue to turn as you move forward. You can either use that to your advantage, or it will kill you, so you better get used to that. Anyway, we're coming up to the main platform here, and go up to here, there you go, now you've got a rocket nozzle, switch your camera so it zooms out on you, grab the rocket nozzle, and yeah, that's considered an unlocking, even though it's already accessed to you, and it's the only rocket nozzle in the area. Anyway, you want to rocket nozzle your way up through these clouds, you can go right through these clouds if you need to, and some of these are moving. As you can see, there's a 1-up in the center. That 1-up is not worth it at all. <laughs> and as for these clouds here, you want to aim for where they're going and not where they currently are. Oh, poopers! That was a close one. That was a close one. This is probably the trickiest part of Corona Mountain, but even so, it's still not all that tricky. Whoa, I grabbed onto the cloud. Anyway, you go up to this one here, and get ready for this. I don't remember if I told you this before in an earlier part, but I think the voice acting in this game is fine. Except for one character. Bowser. <laughs> the water's great, hey, Junior? Sure is, Papa. Come on in, Mama Peach. Um, I think not. Mario, how dare you 
disturb my family vacation. That is horrible! It, uh, until he did that roar, it just doesn't sound like Bowser. He just sounds like some sort of glumpy comedic enemy. Anyway, this is the final battle here. You've got Bowser Jr. shooting homing bullet bills there. Surprisingly, the homing ones are black instead of purple. Anyway, you still got your rocket nozzle. Well, the objective of this one is to go to the edge on one of these here, rocket nozzle up, and then ground pound. Draco Meteor! Now what you have to do is work your way over to the center area until you get back to the so Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that. Um, whenever Bowser shoots his fire out like that, you're supposed to um, shoot him with your water gun there, Flood, and then it'll extinguish his fire so you can progress forward. And you just have to do this five times until the boss battle is over. Also, look out for those water droplets that flow out of this hot spring. It will hurt you. Anyway, oh, I didn't do it fast enough. Dang it. Um, doesn't this situation just look very wrong to you? Just, just, I'll just give you a little perspective here. You've got a kidnapped girl who a kid thinks is his mama, or at least seemingly thinks is his mama, uh, and they're all in a hot spring together, both dad, son, and, uh, whoa, 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 okay, it's okay, it's okay, he just did that ground ball thing on his own there, and, kabooey, sweet, and, and you'll notice that Flood's not doing too well, anyway, just thought I would point that out there, and as I was saying that, doesn't that just seem wrong, a father and son in a hot tub of sorts together, and, Along with a kidnapped girl, and yeah, you get the idea. I'm not gonna go any further than that. <laughs> All you have to do is ground pound those things five times, and it's over. Well, rock it up and then ground pound five times. Oh, poor Mario. Flood's in more shape than Mario is. Was I, um, was just, um, Oh. That's sad. Mario, look. Junior, I've got something. Oh dear lord. To tell you about Princess Peach. The voice I acting. Know, she's not really my mama. You knew? Wait, but Peach didn't even deny it. Someday, when I'm bigger. I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well put some Koopa <laughs> Line is as strong as ever. Now, let's just rest a while. Honestly, I think everyone should go on a vacation here. Ah, oh, Serena Beach. Beautiful. Too bad the hotel sucks. <laughs> or at least I say it does, I think, my opinion. The vacation starts now. Oh, he's repaired! Oh, I'm tearing up now. And that's the game, if you're only interested in watching up to this point, you know, learn how to beat Bowser and stuff like that. As, as you've seen, that last boss battle was ridiculously easy. In fact, it was over before I could even commentate much on it. <laughs> it was just over that fast. So, don't even worry about even taking hits on that one. You won't have much trouble at all, unless you, unless you take too long to get off of those 
platforms that you have to grow upon, you know, that they're cracking apart, and you have to climb back up to the main hot spring bowl. Speaking of, as I said, that just seems wrong. Uh, I mean, a, a father and son are bathing in a hot tub that seems to be boiling hot, anyway, and <laughs> they're asking Peach to join in with them, and doesn't that just seem a little wrong and not kid-friendly in the least? Just saying? <laughs> anyway, as you can see, now they're finally on vacation. Unfortunately, it's not an official vacation, because you know there's still 19 more Shine Sprites to collect. It's kind of funny that I ended up at 100 Shine Sprites at um, the very beginning of Corona Mountain. I should say, for the last shine of Corona Mountain, and yes, all rights, including copyrights of the game, scenario, music, and program, reserved by Nintendo. I don't make the game. I mean, I didn't make the game. I just made the walkthrough. The end. And, oh, I hope he doesn't go on a worldwide rampage with that uh, paintbrush there. And, uh, yeah, that, that Bowser battle there gives you one shine. So... So, I think it's a good time to end it off here. Um, I'm gonna start collecting the remaining shines, and all the remaining shines, I think, are in the Delfino Airstrip and Delfino Plaza area. From here on out, it's gonna be going really, really quickly. So, this game's gonna be ending soon, unfortunately, and I gotta pick another game soon. <laughs> I don't know if I'll take a break after Sunshine, That's it's just some thoughts that I've had about taking a break because, because this walkthrough has been really testing my patience, <laughs> in case you didn't realize. So as for now, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part, and hopefully we'll be able to get the last 19 shines. Oh, and I forgot to show you the uh, file select screen here. It's like a bunch of blocks. You, you can actually do all your moves here in this 2D space here. And uh, you hit a block just like classic Mario and stuff like that, and you can select what you want to do with the file and whatnot. Anyway, 101 shines, 19 to go. Hope to see you in the remaining parts. Toodaloo!